Now guys, you all know my friend Andy. Here's to you on birthday stop. We say happy, you say birthday. Happy birthday! He's literally one of the nicest, most unique people you will ever meet in your entire life and today is his birthday. I'm excited. We're gonna be going to Magic Kingdom for a little bit and then Andy wants to go to California Grill. It's gonna be interesting to see, is California Grill worth it? Because there's no longer any fireworks. There's like the new safety precautions. Like is it that same fine dining elegant experience in this day and age? I I really hope they still have that pizza. I'm excited. Let's go. Well, first off, they have scrim on the uh, train station. Well, we are back. It's probably been like three months since I've been at Magic Kingdom. But you can see the characters greeting everyone on the train station. Ooh, Main Street is popping right now. They announced like the new proposed artwork for what they're gonna put on the castle for the 50th, and I love it. I think it'll really bring it to life because currently I don't enjoy it, but I think adding those like golden ribbons is really gonna make it pop. Now, last week they released the uh, Baby Yoda cookies here at the confectionery of Magic Kingdom, but they're not calling them that. And here we are, the Main Street Confectionery. Right, here's all the delicious goodies. And there's the blue macaron. It's time to review this little sucker. Stopped and stationary. It's kind of weird when you go in there because they're not making the candies or the apples. You just go up and say, I want this, and they give you a plastic little baggie. I feel like I'm gonna be shaking around Dory right now. No, Nemo. How do you open this thing? Okay, so as you know, I spent, what, $60 on the Navarro Numbies from William and Sonoma, which- Oh. My. God. This is kind of a waste of money. We're kind of a rip off, but this one is $5 just for one. So I think it's, if I calculate it correctly, it's more expensive. Ooh. Ooh, it smells good though. Let's try it. It's thicker and a little more light blue than the ones we got from William and Sonoma. I don't know what the flavor is. I think theirs is vanilla. <laughs> no. There's a little inside shop. I think it's just vanilla. It kind of tastes like the milk of Fruity Pebbles for some reason. The William & Sonoma ones are 10 times better than this. I don't like anything about this. 3.5 out of 10. Now Andy, it's your birthday. Yes. What is the one ride you want to ride? Uh, take a wild guess. Big Thunder Mountain. Splash Mountain. No? But Shelby's over at Splash. I know we can go visit her in a minute, but I have to go see my little mermaid under the sea, my angelfish. I love her so much. Ariel. Forever. I love you. Alright, here we go. Into the ship. Ariel became a villain, but that Ursa. Oh, she's so me. I'll make you human if you give me your voice. Ride is over. Uh, Andy asked the cast member if they can ride again, so I guess we're riding again. <laughs> this boy really does love this ride. The mass exodus of Magic Kingdom. It's time to stop off at the Emporium real quick before we head out. And then the line for the Emporium that we're going to is all the way back by Casey's Corner. This always makes me so sad walking by because Jim is not here playing the piano. All right, we are here. And I feel like deep down you know what we're here for. A little Kermit and Miss Piggy. Like, she's fine, don't get me wrong, but the real crown is this little guy right here. Now I think I'm gonna get this little Kermit instead because he's like praying for me to take him home. All right, now let's see the new options that they have. Oh kind of like a hoodie, ooh, with sunglasses. All right, so the new ones are like a little polka dot raincoat, like a straw hat, a right little flower dress. Kind of like this one, it's like a little flower shirt. Looks like a little old navy sailor. Ooh, what is this frumpy looking thing? Oh, it's a dress. It's a dress with like confetti shoes. And I think I'm gonna get Kermit the leather jacket. Right, now before we go to California Grill, Kermit just can't go nude. So let's uh, let's dress him up. I'm struggling as always to put on these clothes on the Nuimos. Kind of looks like Kermit has a beer gut going on. Okay, I'm trying to put on his sunglasses, but for some reason they're zip tied. And who has anything when they're at a theme park to remove a zip tie? Thank God for cast members. Uh, one from cast member named Mike helped me take off <laughs> the zip tie for the little shades. 
Okay, well, that's kind of disappointing. I guess if we like put it on top of his head like that, then he can rock the shades. One of the problems with these Noemos is each outfit kind of fits each character a little different. Like I'm sure these shades will look great on Mickey, but they don't look good on Kermit. And the jacket doesn't fit like how I thought it was gonna fit. It's kind of hard to even tell it's like a leather jacket. I think he looks best with his jacket unzipped and his little beer gut hanging out. Like a true biker. You know, for some reason, with the glasses on, I'm not even seeing Kermit. All I see is like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Andy got the giant angel, but it comes <laughs> in this giant bag and it looks like a body bag or something. <laughs> Let's see, hold on. Now there's no Brazilian tour groups here to buy these giant things, <laughs> but there is Andy. Mm. She's your angel, yes. Okay, I'm kind of running behind right now. I have to rush home, change, and then we have to go to California Grill because the reservation is at 9.30. Let's go. Okay, we are back at the Contemporary. Now, if you've ever been to the Contemporary, there's a certain smell. It smells like straight up sewage over there. It just never goes away. But now, since it's starting to get warmer in Orlando, the smell gets a little more potent. But besides the smell, we're gonna go to one of the best restaurants at Disney, California Grill, all the way up there. Now, the first time we went was the best experience I've ever had at a dining location. 10 out of 10 food and service. We then came back the next year for my birthday, and the service wasn't there, and the food quality wasn't there. So I'm hoping third time is the charm for them to redeem themselves at California Grill. One of my favorite carpets at Disney. And then I love this funky little trash can. When you look at it from the side. Just checked in to California Grill. While we wait and Jared dances, these are the best couches in all of Disney World. In the middle of a hot, day at Magic Kingdom. Just come to Contemporary and sit down. Take a second to appreciate Allison right now. Love you. Allison. Yes. There you go. You look wonderful. <laughs> and you get your temperature screened before you enter into every single Disney restaurant now. Here we go to the super special elevator. You ready? Born ready. Okay, to the 15th floor we go. Now, we did come at 9.30. There's no more fireworks anymore, so you can't view those. Don't burn him. Give me him back now. Oh, it's not. No! <laughs> <laughs> so they have nice little California grill napkins. Now here is some of my favorite water in the entire world. There we go. Now the Natura water is just not your normal Orlando crappy sewage water. This is like creme de la creme. It's so like soft and crisp and clean. Ooh, look at it. And then the olive oil that they have here. Oh, there's Austin Sam. It's just it's game changing. It's so good. This is like carb heaven right there. All right, now Jared, tell us about this bread. It's good. <laughs> Enough said. It's so good. What is olive oil? Mm. So guys, for my appetizer, I got the braised beef short rib wonton, a Dijon miso cola onion sauce, crispy garlic chili oil, radish with a pickle of the lotus root. I'm excited. These look really good. Mmm. Oh my god. That short rib is so tender, it just is packed with flavor. It's got a little bit of like a spice to it, but it's like perfect. Nine out of ten on this dish. Pepperoni pizza. Oh. Now, first time I had this, this is the best pizza I've ever had in my entire life. I got the pepperoni pizza. You have house-made pepperoni, tomato conserva, fontina asiago, parmesan, mozzarella, and a basil oregano pesto. Oh no. The toppings and the combinations of them, it's perfection. It's a nice crispy crust. How's your pizza? $23 a slice. <laughs> Andy got his little birthday cake. Andy, happy birthday. Thank I, you. I turned around and now the cake is gone, but yeah. happy birthday to you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday dear Andy. Andy. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. I love 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 you guys. Andy, we got you a little gift. But I already had the best gift in the world, you guys. Oh, the, the bag is the only color they had at Publix. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was looking for a... I thought it was so Andy. It is very Andy. It's from Publix, I'm okay. <laughs> it's just gift wrap. It's what you always wanted. <laughs> for your birthday, this monkey has something special for you to throw okay, in let, let Oh! <laughs> watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. A kiss. A kiss, what did you think he was gonna throw? <laughs> Since you work those long days, you need something to put a good cup of joe in. Cup of joe? <laughs> Beautiful, like literally, this is... It's, it's for Adventureland. No, it's for Allison and Kevin and Jared are amazing. <laughs> it's for your birthday. <laughs> 
Now, we just finished dinner. There are no fireworks, but you can still go outside. I find it interesting that they have markers up as if there is gonna be fireworks. If you've never been up here, it's just a breathtaking view. They're not playing any Disney music. It's like this like weird like elevator music, which I find is very odd. There's a little shot with the last table in here. That's, yeah, and there's the shot of Andy. Yeah, such a majestic restaurant. Right there, he's dancing to the <laughs> elevator music. We paid for our check. You gotta say it. We paid full price. We did pay full price. We sure did. Now, Andy, it's your 27th <laughs> birthday. What are some wise words you have for the 27 years you've graced 27 this years wise words. Oh, man. Look like the godfather right now. Or something. <laughs> Come to you. me on the day of my, my son's birthday, 27 years old, and I ask you why. That I can understand. But what is the wisdom for all your people? Stay awesome, stay safe. And remember, I'll see you real soon, pal. Good night. <laughs> I've never noticed this. Where they normally have, they'll have Disney movies on for the kids in the lobby for the contemporary. They have uh, some of the Mary Blair animals right there. You. you got two little owls, a little bunny, and I think there are two little bears, little brother bears. I never noticed that. It's just right here in the lobby. And even behind this little chair are two little skunks. That's why I love Disney. Every single time you're on property, you always notice something new. Now guys, we are back at home. Let's kind of talk about, is California Grill worth it in this like era of Disney dining? Yes and no. I feel like if you have the money and you just want to get a nice dinner, like go for it. But if it's like your one time to go to California Grill in your life, I would honestly wait because you're missing like those extra steps of like fine dining service because with the safety precautions, you're just not gonna get that. And it's not California Girl's fault, it's just the state of the world. So if you're going and you're spending $150 per person, I would kinda wait. But we had an amazing server named Erica. The food was amazing as always. The menu has changed a lot. A lot of the stuff that we got from before is no longer on the menu. I really miss that Gouda mac and cheese because that stuff literally made me cry, it was that good. And also with there not being any fireworks, that's a big draw for that restaurant to get that very unique view of the Magic Kingdom fireworks. Let me know down in the comments, what are your thoughts? Do you think California Grill is worth it in 2021? After you get home from like Magic Kingdom, go up there, get a drink, get that pizza, you're gonna have a good time. Let's now talk about our new little friends. Now if you look, I got the shades on Mickey, they look perfect. Kermit looks like Kermit and no longer a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Now I'm honestly surprised with how many of these I was watching being sold. There was just a cast member constantly just like restocking them in Magic Kingdom because they were literally flying off the shelf. The new emos are here to stay. I think the outfit choices for this month were eh, all right. Glad they have sunglasses though, but I want more like Disney inspired outfits if you know what I mean. Now this video is brought to you by Ben Mazzara. Thank you for donating on Patreon, Ben. You're the best. Now guys, I love you all. Please stay safe and I will see you all on Friday. Bye. I feel like they wrongly placed her with Buzz. I feel like disgust is the equivalent of like a girl walking into like a frat house. It's just like, look at that smirk. That makes me very uncomfortable. I don't like that.